So in this video I'm going to show you how to implement slot filling in Dialogflow to get the user's contact data, in particular their name and their email address. So the first thing that we're going to do is, I'm here in the default welcome intent, we're going to kick off the interaction using the welcome intent. So whenever the user says any of those greetings, we're going to enter a response, which is going to be the prompt for them to enter their name. So in more complex use cases we can always trigger an action to prompt them to enter their contact data but for this simple case since we're starting from scratch uh, I'm using the welcome intent. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an intent to get the contact data and so what are the slots that we want to fill? We want the customer to enter the name and for this we're going to use the system entity give name and we're going to call it name and since it's required I'm going to enter a prompt as well which is can you tell your name. You can give a variation as well, what's your name, so it doesn't get boring. So just in case that the user doesn't answer to our first prompt, we have more options here to ask for the name. And the second parameter is going to be the email as required. I'm going to use the system entity for email. Call it email, and the prompt is going to be what's your email address? We want to save that. So at the end of our interaction, we want to just give them a response, which is going to be thanks, we'll be in touch since they just were so kind to give us their contact information. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to give it a go now. Hi. So, hey, what's your name? My name is Peter. One more time. So we can see here that it didn't understand my response, it didn't understand what I'm saying, and the reason is that I need to give some example inputs, otherwise the chatbot doesn't know what to do with my inputs. So I'm going to enter just Peter and assign it the parameter name that I just declared below. And I'm going to do the same for an email address. Oops, this is a bit clunky, it doesn't work always. I need to highlight this. Okay. <clears throat> Save. So these are the most simple cases. Um, what could also happen is the user could be a bit more creative and give us a full sentence. For example, I'm. No, let's take a different name. I'm John. So in order to properly train the chatbot, we're going to give a couple more uh, variations of what the input could be and tell the, tell the agent again, okay, this is the name, so it knows what to do with it. I'm John, my name is John. Maybe they'll be a bit more creative and say, People call me John. Okay, that should be enough to train the agent to recognize the name input. And same for the email. They could say my email is test at example.com. Yeah, I think you get the point. So now I'm going to give it another try. Hi. Hey, what's your name? My name is 
Let's take this one, Pavo. So you, you notice that if we enter a bit more exotic name, it doesn't, it still doesn't recognize it, and the reason is that the system given name entity works on a list of limited uh, names. So there's a couple of tricks that you can use to enter to uh, recognize any name, but that's an advanced topic. I might do another video about that. So for now, I'm gonna tell it again. Okay, I'm Peter. What's the email address? It's peter at test.com. Okay. And we'll get the response. Thanks, we'll be in touch. And also, we can see that the slots have been filled. Now we have the name and the email address. And that's it for slot filling. Thanks for watching.